Right, I've got another excellent piece of equipment to show you today, and it's this 5C collet chuck, which is made in China. I got this one from Banggood, and I'm going to be fitting it on my Myford ML7. So when you buy the chuck, it comes on its own. It doesn't come with any collets. It comes in this box here, which is a good quality box. The actual chuck is completely surrounded by polystyrene, so it can't get damaged in the post or whatever. In the top of the box there's a chuck key and in the centre of the chuck in a small polythene bag is three 8mm set screws in which to secure it to a back plate. And I've bought a brand new back plate from Myford which has been already threaded but it's got to be turned to suit the chuck. And that's dead easy because the recess on the back of this one is 3.740 inch diameter and it's 0.184 inch deep and the great thing is the screws go in from the front rather than from the back so it's dead easy to actually fit and I do that first by carefully turning the back plate to suit the recess nice tight fit and then I can use a transfer punch from the front of the chuck onto the um, back plate so put the chuck on the back plate transfer punch to get the drill and tap holes in the correct positions so if you're not familiar with the 5c collet chuck system the way it works um, is with a ordinary chuck key there's um, two positions on the collet chuck for uh, um, winding the chuck I take the spring off the, the um, actual chuck key I find them very annoying and I would never leave a chuck key in a um, chuck anyway so I don't need that safety device. When I put the chuck key into the recess and turn the chuck key you'll see inside the chuck there is a thread, a female thread in the bore there which rotates. On the back of the collet you have a male thread and that one locates in that uh, thread inside the bore of the chuck. Also there's a recessed or a, um, a groove here which goes down over a lug so that the um, collet won't spin when it's being wound into the chuck. So find that lug by just turning it until it drops in. And then when I wind the chuck key the collet will be drawn into the nose of the chuck when the two angles meet and I continue to wind it will close that collet down onto the workpiece or the bar and it's a very effective collet chuck. And I do think it's the most versatile of all collet chucks because you can get just ordinary collets like this one here like in sets and up to about 26 millimeter in diameter I think I've seen the largest ones maybe more you can get the ordinary board ones like this or you can get ones with a square hole so you can actually chuck up a um, square bar you can get um, collets that have um, like an expanding mandrel on the end which are excellent plus you can get all the ER collet chuck uh, ranges to actually fit in this one you can get a 5C adapter on the ER25, the ER32 and the ER40 and I think others with the 5C adapter thread on the back so you can actually use those ER collet chucks straight into this one so if you have any of those ER um, collet chucks already you can actually use those with this chuck without any problems at all and I've got the ER40 uh, adapter come in to actually go in this one so I'll show you that one at a later day. Another thing which makes this chuck really versatile is that the collets have an internal thread as well, a female thread in the back of them. So not only have they got the thread on the outside, they've got one on the inside. In here, and you can get fixtures like this one here. This is a stop which screws into that um, thread, so you lock that one in the, in the actual collet before you put it into the collet chuck. 
and you have an adjustment here for adjusting that stop. Therefore you can adjust the length in which that stop sits, so you can use a saddle stop on the um, actual lathe. Say you're doing some screws like this and you're facing off to a certain length, put them up to the stop, do the chuck up, bring the um, saddle into the saddle stop and face off to the certain length or whatever and you could put all the screws up the same as that and do batch work like that and get all those screws exactly the same length. The chuck is made to very close tolerances and it's really nice and smooth to operate from the outset. I haven't had to clean it or anything. It's been ready to use from the start. It also has um, uh, oil a button hole there so you can actually oil the internal parts um, in use. The only very minor fault with it is that these holes on the edge of the um, recesses for the allen bolts are very sharp and I shall deburr those before I um, fit the back plate but that's only very minor considering the brilliant price for this excellent piece of equipment. So now I'm going to go out into the workshop and put the um, back plate up on the MyFord and machine it to fit the actual chuck. Right, when I fit a new back plate on the MyFord I always check that the thread is clean in the back plate and I use one of these stainless steel wire brushes on my Dremel just to go up and down inside that thread. And that cleans out any bits of swarf or debris that may have been left in there from machining. Make sure the nose of the spindle is really clean, the actual thread. And I put some engine oil on my um, thread there. I found it's the best form of lubricant for actually releasing the chucks after use. And I haven't had one seize on the actual um, spindle since I've been using thick engine oil. And to turn the back plate I'm using an ordinary DCMT 070204 insert tool.
I'm just taking two cell cuts at a time now or less Very close. about it. That's spot on. I can't feel any movement at all in that. So now all that I have to do is put the chuck on here, take this um, back plate off, put it on the bench, put the chuck on here and then use transfer punches through the holes from the front of the chuck to get the correct positions for the three 8mm threaded holes. So that's the back plate fitted and I've got the run out to be less than half a thou and the only thing that I've got left to do now is to put the holes around the outside here for my indexing um, equipment. And I think it's a brilliant chuck and well worth the money.